Hey there everyone, Hidesh here and welcome to another video on MongoDB series. In this video, we are going to learn about update many and delete many. The only thing that I want to mention before we get started is be extra cautious because you are about to update in bulk or delete in bulk. So be very, very cautious. It can create a lot of problems. Now let's go forward. I hope many of you did try the assignment and I highly recommend to follow along with me. Otherwise, you'll be left behind. So don't do that. Always follow the assignments as well. So let's go ahead and try to do that. I gave you one of the assignment was just add this field if we logged in into this data, uh, this entry as well. So now we can do that. And again, I have just prettified the data to be make sure that what we have got in the database to just get it out. So now let's learn how we can do that. So it's really simple DB dot uh, student data. So that's the easy way. And we will be using first and foremost update one. And after that, we'll be using update many as well. So there we go. So this is the basic one. So we have got a couple of options to be filled up. The first is an actually object where you you update a criteria to uniquely identify your object. And in the second field, uh, you give um, a simple atomic operator using dollar set to make sure that we understand that yes, this also needs to be updated. Okay, so let's fill up the first curly braces, which is uniquely identifying about the things. So we're going to do an underscore ID this time, which is usually the most common way of finding out a unique document. So we're going to be putting double quotes here. And we're going to say one, two, three, ABC dash W because that's the ID. Now I'll go into the second curly braces. And here I need to enter my atomic operator first and foremost. So we're going to say dollar dollar set. And this is going to be the command. Now this dollar set should be uh, passing up a curly braces. So there we go. So make sure you don't miss out the curly braces. They are super easy to be missed out in the shell. Uh, in the editor, they actually makes life much more easier because they automatically comes up. So in this one, I want to add my field, which I want to update in this in this particular entry. So I'm going to say FB uh, logged in. And that value is going to be yes. So there we go. So that's it. Make sure the curly braces are intact. In case not, just rewrite the command. Everybody misses them sometimes. So hit that enter and it says acknowledge true. And now we can run that prettify again and can see that FB logged in is now entered here. So now we got something common in both the database. We can definitely run the command delete, but I will, if I'll run that right now, I will not be able to show you update many. So we're going to be first learning about update many. So db dot student data. And I want to use the command update many. Make sure M is capital and you write that correctly. So there we go. Now in the update many also, uh, we have got uh, two parameters. The first one is how to uniquely identify separated by comma. Second one is what you really want to update. So let's just say in order to uh, make sure, let's just say we have hundreds of entries, but only these two got FB logged in and we want to update them as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for a key that says FB logged in and whose value is let's just say Yes, so you have uniquely identified multiple documents. And now I want to add something into it. Whenever you want to add, atomic operator comes up. So we're going to use a dollar set colon and a pair of curly braces. So I want to add one more field. So I'm going to say uh, delete. And I want to update uh, one more entry here, delete, and which can be simply uh, yes. So we're going to say yes, I want to delete them. So there we go. This is how we update many document at one time. And I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. We have acknowledged it true. I'm going to prettify that. There we go. Updated the entry. Now comes up the amazing part, which is very risky as well. And is kind of a fun to watch. Okay. Just like we have got update many, we have got delete many as well. And I'm going to show you a unique way of selecting all the documents. So we're going to go for db dot, not comma, db dot student data. And this time I want to use delete many, exactly like update many, but we don't have to use atomic operator because we are just deleting. So in here comes up the first part, which is in the curly braces is uniquely identify what you really want to select and delete. Now, surely I can do something like this. You might have guessed this. It is super easy. Delete colon and the value wherever. Yes, it is. We surely can do go ahead and do that. 
it's going to give us the exact result what is expected it's going to delete that but here's the tricky part in case you just delete everything inside here and put an empty curly braces by the way you can use it in update many as well it is automatically going to select all the documents now here comes the magical part uh, the destructive part when i hit the enter let's just hit the enter here and there we go acknowledge true so whatever the all entries are in the databases it's going to be deleted okay so now that we know about that there is still one guy remaining which is update many uh, we have just worked with update one uh, not update actually insert one we haven't worked through with uh, insert many so it's time that we can actually do that so i'm going to bring up my editor here which is which happened to be uh, vs code and where is my mongodb exercise file i hope you have watched the previous video and you have got this 01.json from the link where i've mentioned uh, just open that up so oops that's not what i wanted okay there we go so this is exactly what i want i'm gonna just okay come on don't do that okay so this is the data that we have and what i really want to do is i want to copy this data and this time i don't want to just copy this anything from this curly braces i want to copy entire thing what is there in the exercise files so i'm going to just control a and control c that's all what we needed in this case now let's try and see what is there in the database so control l first to clear all the screen and we're going to say db dot we have a database that says students uh, student data and i just want to find all of that we don't need to prettify that because we are already aware there is nothing inside that there we go completely empty so we're going to say db dot student uh, data and i want to uh, insert many this time now the way insert many works is you can pass on an array of objects in which uh, this is exactly is there in the document and in the exercise files so just open up the parenthesis don't close it up and then just paste the entire thing what you have copied so we have got an array of objects and we can just close this here and hit enter now and there we go acknowledge true we have got two uh, ids being inserted with unique ids and now i can run this command again dot find and of course i'll be using pretty this time because i know there is something in my database and hit enter there we go you have learned how you can add that so now this makes the whole part complete as we have added something we have deleted something we have used all the commands insert one insert many update one update many delete one and delete many so all the kind of crud operations are done but one thing is still remaining that read part we haven't taken into much depth because we have just used the find and find one uh, but definitely there is a lot there is going on when you are reading something from the database surely we are going to catch that up now here is a quick assignment uh, make sure you add an entry in both the fields uh, simply delete yes and by using that delete yes delete the entire database things here and make sure you add that again so that is really really simple delete them add them again and then add them again so pretty simple stuff so that's it for this video let's catch up in the next one